What is next for the Toronto Raptors? If you guys don't know by now, on this channel we have a series called the What Is Next series. We've done a few teams, so I'll put the playlist if you guys want to watch other teams' episodes. But in this episode, we're going to talk about the Toronto Raptors. Keep in mind, this is before free agency, but the thing about the Toronto Raptors is they're most likely going to go with the same team next season, considering they just won an NBA championship. They won't have a lot of cap space, and they don't have any draft picks until literally the 59th pick. But the free agency is obviously the big one. Obviously, they have Kawhi Leonard. This man could either go to LA, which he has stated that he would play in LA, and there's been a lot of speculation about where he is going to play next season. The thing is that I believe after winning his championship with the Raptors, I honestly cannot see him leaving this team. When you think about it, he's just won an NBA championship and Kawhi has always stated that he just wants to play basketball and win. His main priority is win, his persona just says win, he doesn't really do anything off court that makes him a star player in this league, what he does do is play on court and he becomes a star player in this league from the way that he plays and not his persona. His persona actually has kind of changed and there's been a little narrative change in the way that we all view Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, he is still the strange laughing guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's right there. Yeah, the glasses, there you go. All right. yeah. <laughs> but he's also now a star player in the West, a star player in the East, and an all-around guy that everybody seems to love. Thank you, and like they said, enjoy this, enjoy this moment, and have fun with it. A ha, 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 ha. Board man gets paid. So Kawhi going to LA, and I'm talking about the Clippers, it wouldn't be because of what he wants to do outside of basketball, it would be what he wants on the court. And yeah, the Clippers with Kawhi Leonard would be a very, very good team. Number one, they already have a really good supporting cast, and we saw what they could do this year without a star player. Adding in a guy like Kawhi Leonard would easily make them even higher of a Western Conference contender, considering the Raptors' depth versus the Clippers' depth isn't that much different, and then you just add in Kawhi Leonard to either team, and it automatically makes them an NBA championship contender. The only thing that anybody 100% knows is that Kawhi will decline his $21.3 million player option by June 29. So, where will he be on that night? We don't know. But the next day, he'll either have the choice to re-sign with the Toronto Raptors or go to a new team. Obviously, what is the plan if Kawhi Leonard chooses a new team and leaves? Well, the Toronto Raptors would obviously still try and compete in the Eastern Conference because we just saw Pascal Siakam being a great primary scoring option in this year's NBA Finals and Playoff Series, and he could take that next step. Kyle Lowry has shown that he is an all-star caliber player, and he is still a great point guard in the league. Marcus Gasol is another guy that would have to re-sign with the Toronto Raptors, but after winning an NBA Finals, it would be hard for him not to. Nick Nurse is still a great head coach, and then Serge Ibaka would probably come back. Fred Van Fleet has also become an unrestricted free agent, but the Raptors would be trying to sign him. And lastly, the other free agent would be Danny Green. And I actually don't think Danny Green has 100% certainty of re-signing with this team. I believe he actually may go to another team because there's a lot of teams really needing a 3 and D guy and a lot of teams demanding veteran leadership and skills. And he is that. So what do the Toronto Raptors do to get better if Kawhi Leonard re-signs with them? Because let's be honest, yes, of course they won the NBA championship and I'm not discrediting what the Toronto Raptors did this season, but... If the Golden State Warriors hadn't have got hurt, there may have been a different outcome, which obviously suggests that the Raptors need to improve even more than they have last season. I feel like that goes for any team though. Once you even win an NBA championship, every other team is coming for your head. So I feel like every team needs to improve at some area of their game. So the Toronto Raptors, obviously if they re-sign Kawhi Leonard, what else do they need to do to get better? The Raptors would now have the ability to have a tax player's mid-level exception, which is a deal around $5.5 million a season to offer, and that could be really enticing for a guy who's a ring chaser. I mean, we just saw it with DeMarcus Cousins for the Warriors last season, so who knows? Plus, there is also a $2.9 million trade exception, which expires on July 19th. In addition, there's other guys from the G League. Other guys like Chris Boucher, who he was an MVP in the G League, he was raised in Montreal, and Malcolm Miller could also be a guy that could be retained and to get a contract offer from the Raptors. 
In the end, we all kind of know that it really just depends on what Kawhi Leonard chooses to do this offseason, but if he doesn't come back, who are the potential free agency targets that the Raptors could go after? And in my opinion, number one would be Chris Middleton. He would have to be a guy that could replace Kawhi Leonard. I'm not sure if he leaves the Bucs after finally being an all-star with Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Bucs actually having a very good season with only the potential to keep getting better. I think he would stay with the Bucks, but let's say the Raptors offer him max money and he really just wants to join the Raptors with Kawhi Leonard leaving, but I don't think Toronto would actually have the cap space to get him from the Bucks, and I just don't think he'd leave the Bucks anyway. So the other guys would be JJ Redick. I believe JJ Redick could sign somewhere else this offseason considering they don't know where Jimmy Butler is going to play. They don't know where Tobias Harris is going to play and they may retool their roster alongside Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid and try and get another third star caliber player in this year's free agency if neither of those two guys come back. So JJ Redick may be like, you know what? I don't want to come back to Philadelphia. And if he's on the free agency market and Danny Green leaves, then I think he could be a good pickup for them. Bogdanovich. Obviously, he's a guy from the Indiana Pacers that can score a little bit. He's not Kawhi Leonard at all. But I mean, if you can't get Kawhi Leonard, you have to go after somebody. And the only real guys that they can go after that could replace Kawhi Leonard would be a guy like Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, Chris Middleton. But I just don't see any of those guys realistically signing with the Toronto Raptors. Which is why I think either Bogdanovich or a guy like Julius Randle could be a fit in Toronto if they want to get paid, go to Toronto, but this is only if Kawhi Leonard leaves. But that's the thing, we just don't know what his plans are going into next season, and he does have meetings set up with the Clippers, the Knicks, and a few more teams. The other guy that I'd be looking at if I'm the Toronto Raptors would be Harrison Barnes. I think Harrison Barnes is a guy that really can take that next step if he just decides to put in that work. I feel like he has the potential. He's 26 years old, so he's still reasonably young. He averaged around 17 points, 5 rebounds on 42% shooting, 40% from 3. He declined his $25 million options, so some are wondering if he'll opt out to sign a longer deal with the Sacramento Kings, or if he's looking to change teams. And I mean, if they do lose Kawhi Leonard, once again, the Raptors are in need of a small forward, and Harrison Barnes isn't Kawhi Leonard at all. But he could be a fit if the Raptors need a guy, and they can't go after any of the big name free agents like Tobias Harris, Jimmy Butler. Harrison Barnes might just have to do. But in the end, we won't know until Kawhi can make his decision. One thing that I would love is if the Raptors know Kawhi is going to leave, if he could just have a sign and trade deal. That would be insane, but it's just probably not going to happen. I just don't want the Raptors to struggle, and I don't really want Kawhi Leonard to leave, but we just have to wait and see at this point. In the end, I think the Raptors just need more shooting. They have a few guys like Norman Powell, Fred Van Fleet, who could leave this team. Not that I think they will, but they could, and they have the potential to leave this team. So I think a guy could be like Wayne Ellington, who is just an all-around great shooter and a great veteran guy. Another guy would be Reggie Bullock, who he's a great shooter as well. He plays a little bit better defense. James Ennis, a really good replacement for... Danny Green, and a guy that I would absolutely love if the Raptors could go after, even if he literally plays like two minutes a game, would be Vince Carter. And I hate that it ended that way. Um, just because there's so many great memories here and we had great times here. And I, I think when every player got here, he was like, wow, I didn't know Toronto was like that. And that's, that was my thing. It was just a great feeling to see. Like, yeah, this is, this is the best kept secret. And now for the little brother, the Raptors, to kind of make their name and, and create the buzz here and create young players in the NBA today, I mean, it never gets old. It never gets old. As soon as I got here, everything seemed so right. Toronto basketball is here. Make his last year in Toronto. That's what I would love. I would. That would be the best thing ever. Leave a like if you want to see that, because... I just really want to see that happen. Another guy that I think they could go after would be a guy like Wesley Matthews. He hasn't really been himself since his Achilles injury, but he still is a great 3 and D guy. Not so defense, but definitely a great three-point shooter. And I think he would be a great fit for the Toronto Raptors. But obviously, it all depends on what Kawhi Leonard does. So let me know down below what you think is next for the Toronto Raptors. Do you think Kawhi Leonard returns to this team? Or do you think he leaves? Let me know down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you are new. Follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you guys in my next video. I am out. Peace.